All right, YouTube. Today we're going to play some Blue White Stone Blade. Um, and like in playing around with this list a lot, I don't know if this is necessarily the best list. Was playing a bunch of cards I like. I like Palace Jailer, I like Jace, I like Gideon, Stoneforge Mystic. All these are just fun cards here. We've got the Caracas and the Two Wastelands. Um, get a little more utility out of our mana base, but besides that, you know, we're just kind of playing. Play the deck. So this is what I'm going to play in the challenge. I'm just in the middle of the league now. I'm going to play some. Um, so let's jump in here. Also, a really close match to Elves. That was a fun match. There. So we're going to play a little bit of Stoneblade. How's it going, Alex? Kid Miracle World. All right. Ooh, playing against Barra. This guy's pretty good, I hear. So we're gonna keep this hand. Unfortunately, we have two wasteable lands, but maybe we can shuffle those away to find other to find action. But plays Plateau. Okay. No mother runes. That's a problem. I currently do not have an answer to that. I'm just going to play an island and pass. I want to be able to spell snap like a Stoneforge Mystic or a Thalia because I can't beat. Um, what is going on here? Because I'm, I'm going to struggle against this card here if those resolve. Scrub land. Okay. All right, well, we're going to spell snap that. We're a little priced in too. Oop. Get rid of that. It's like my opponent is serving, which means they probably have an answer to. They probably have like another a backup. How's it going, uh, Swart Swartner Stir? Uh, I don't want this badge go. I think I do want this training emphasis though. So we're just gonna go like this and play the Heath. The Heath can fetch away, fetch our basic planes also. Phil. What are you doing? All right, wastelands not good for us, but at least we have two lands. Ether vial is fine. Didn't serve that time. Interesting. Okay, so let's fetch so that we get rid of our top card because I believe it's a batter skull. And we're ways off of that. We're just gonna play true name. Get our big boy into play. And now if my opponent wastes me, we actually can waste them back and, you know, play a little bit of mana denial ourselves. Oh, our opponent's hitting land drops, so now I don't really want to do that. Um, I'm just going to attack because if they want to, they can give this protection. And attack through me. I might, um, wait next turn when they start to put more power on the board. But right now trading three for two is fine. Let me have a brainstorming a turn. Probably look to get rid of this. Yeah, I might like uh, play Ponder on my turn. 
like Snap Hunter. If this is like a recruiter, then I'm going to Alright, I'm going to do this in response just because I'm going to do it anyways and like the cards that I hit might want me to force this. Well, that didn't happen. So we can get rid of the spell periods. I think we can actually get rid of Jace. Dies create or X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Alright, that's fine. We'll deal with it. Fun hits Wasteland. So in our upkeep, we will fetch. I'm going to get a second blue source. And then just protect my second blue source. Like just protect this. All right, well. And I think I'm just going to wasteland this scrubland. Like I don't, I don't know what. I think the black is like how I lose this game. And then I can like counsel judgment this next turn or play just another true name nemesis, which is probably what I'm going to do. Recruiter, that's scary. Recruiter can get like Stoneforge Mystic. Orzhov Pontiff also. Shit. The main deck Pontiff. Okay. Now we're in trouble. Take six, it looks like. All right, I'm again, I'm not going to expose my um, my white source to, my second white source to Wasteland. All right, so let's just block Thalia. Is it pro? Maybe not. Okay. Now that it's tapped, I guess how much trouble am I in here? I can just plow and then leave up force of will. Block here, take two. Hopefully, I don't have anything going on. And then I can maybe go snap plow next turn if I don't expose my um my whatever it is, my tundra to wasteland. Just to kinda of hope they don't have anything to put in here. Looks like they have something to put in. Block. Alright, we're dead. Because they attack with everything. We could have played the land in order to flash my Snapcaster in to just chump block, but like they're gonna waste on my turn. And I'm just like I'm not winning that game, so I was kind of hoping they didn't have anything so I could go Snap Plow. I think the Jailer is supposed to come in. Jace probably is not that good. Spell Pierce is not that great either. I wonder if Vendillion Click is good enough. So just another X1. Counter spell is probably not great. I can bring in one click over a counter. Oh, no, I want the Distant Chance. Derp. Well, I wonder if he's a Stoneforge Mystic deck. Because like, I, saw, I saw him post like a weird list. But like, it does just kill Aether Mile, which is nice. Yeah, I'm going to try this. I 
really know what's going on with my opponent's deck, so... Because, like, I, I saw him post on Twitter a version of it where he wasn't playing Stoneforge Mystic. Alright, this guy's pretty good. I'm actually just going to play Flooded Strand and pass. Well, no, I'm just going to ponder. Because if my opponent plays... Um, if I just hold up Plow, my opponent plays uh, either Vile, I'm just going to feel stupid. So I'm just going to guarantee get the good one here. I get the value of the Ponder. These are good cards. I guess I could have put Gideon. Like I think I want Gideon eventually, but maybe not at the moment. All right, so I'm going to... So, I'm just going to go fetch. I don't really want to play Tundra and get Wastelanded. And I think I'm just going to get Umazawa's Jitte, because this is going to die, and I think the Jit is like what we want in this game going long. Oh, it's not dead yet. Okay. All right, well, we're just going to kill that. Well, I guess I'm just going to wait. I guess now I feel stupid for getting Jet. Yeah, we're going to get wasted here. I guess I can actually just plow this. I think I want to plow this thing. Because then I can brainstorm and try to hit another land. I don't get to put my jet in play, but like the jet wouldn't do anything next turn. Okay, so now we're going to brainstorm. Hit another land. Nope, and we're dead. Gross. The sound is bad. The sound is bad. All right, give me one second. Let me just F6 here. Um, Mike. R-O-H-S. I don't see what you're talking about. Is it too loud? Give me a second here. Real tech high definition. Uh, BC Master. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Oh, shoot. That might be better. It might be better, I'm not sure. We're just gonna put this jet into play. Maybe that was too cute, what I did there, like. Maybe I should've shuffled away the Gideon, kept both brainstorms. Priest of the Forgotten Gods, all right. My opponent's not going to attack. Yeah, I think I've just completely messed this game up. Next flex a creature. Okay, so I'm going to sack my... Stoneforge Mystic and try to flash in a Snapcaster maybe at the end of my opponent's turn. If they activate this. Do I have to sacrifice two creatures though? Huh. 
Tie Baker during your turn. All right, I'm just gonna play this Snapcaster because, like, I, I need more bodies on the full battlefield. My hand's so clogged up that I'm just not gonna be able to do anything with this. I have to hope to rip a land. So that's what I'm to land. Two mana draw card. That was not the right land, but it is a land. Oh man, if that had been a non if that had been a blue producing land, we'd have been in good shape. But it was not. We can't go snap plow, unfortunately. So we're just kind of in a holding pattern, not really doing too much. Orzov Pontiff. Okay. So this marks our Snapcaster. But who knows, we might get lucky here and our opponent might like get excited with an attack. Because we want them to attack with Estalia. I guess they can just sack two creatures and get rid of this. I'm gonna hold up here with my Snapcaster because like they're just gonna go sacrifice the pontiff and then it's gonna eat my snapcaster anyways I really want to plow this, but this is also a problem. I guess I'm just going to plow this and hope to get to Supreme Verdict. And I've got to do it. I guess I don't have to do it. I want to do it now so that I guess he's just going to sack this anyway. So there's not really any point to doing that now. Yeah, I shouldn't have done it right now. I guess it just would have cost me one more mana to do it on my opponent's turn, but I can't do anything because of the Tide Picker anyways. Okay, so he sacks the Pontiff. Haunts the Tide Picker. Sacrifice a creature. Get rid of this. Uh, this priest is doing work. At least maybe then we get to make it so our opponent wastes the mana. Yeah, definitely have to hit a land for this. And it kind of sucks that it's got to be a non-basic to cast True Name. But we can like snap plow something on our turn. But this Mother of Ruin is going to mess with that. Yeah, we're in a lot of trouble here. There's no shadow today. I did shadow earlier. Dire Fleet Daredevil targeting Ponder. I'd be in much better shape if I just got a batter skull to start with. Chose not to shuffle, okay. Don't play another Thalia. Alright, Ether Vials, whatever. Alright, we want an untapped land here. No, I haven't gotten to do any pre releases yet. I played a little bit on Moto. I can't even snap Brainstorm.
I guess I'll try to play Snapcaster Mage. No, there's no sense playing at the end of the turn. I think I'm just kind of like Supreme Verdict or Bust, to be honest. So there's just no point in like playing my Snapcaster Mage just to have it trade with this activation or the Mother of Ruins. And I can't even do it now because of the Tide Taker, so whatever. I'm just going to rip a Supreme Verdict. Rip the land to play Supreme Verdict. JK. Oh, this sucks. This Wasteland's been kicking the nuts. Maybe I won't play the Wasteland at the challenge. Okay, so I go to two. I should lose two life. So I actually need to flash this in because I have to flash this in and block or I'm just dead to the activation of this. So I'll just block right here. My opponent might give this pro blue. Oh, he's a vile. This is a dire fleet daredevil. Sack these two. I lose two life. I can't block. I guess I was dead to a creature there anyways. Yep. All right. That sucked. But there's a land. At least it wasn't the right one. That sucked, but that's life. Almost out of coffee. I know one of the guys that's in the top eight of the PT. The uh, Eli, um, Eli used to play at my LGS. I think he was only there for a little bit while I was still there. When I first got to DC. But I know of him. <clears throat> yeah, so I, I w I've been playing this version with 20 lands and no Wasteland and no Caracas, and I kind of felt like I wanted another land. So I went up to 21, but kind of added, like, added some utility to my mana base. <clears throat> How's the Twitch chat doing this morning? to open a pity treasure chest. I always open my 3-2 chest. Didn't get anything sweet. I'm excited for the new standard cards. Like, I played some standard with my little brother yesterday. And, like, the the the, the, the cards that impressed me the most were, was the Tamiyo. The Tamiyo was really, uh, was really good. That's because we were playing a Grixis deck that made our opponent discard all our cards, all their cards. Like we tried, we played like Thought Erasure, um, Nickel Bolas Dragon, Nickel Bolas the um, Five Drop, the Disinformation Campaign, and Carnival Carnage. Because once we got our opponent's Hellbent and we played Nickel Bolas, you ever did that in the early game? And like you got to nug a land every turn with the plus, so your plus turned into like draw a card exile a permanent which was really sweet i think it was like something like this i guess i have to go back to we didn't play any of these 
And we cut one of these. We cut one of these. We didn't have the nickel boluses on my opponent's account. Or my, my brother's account. But we played... Play this. Disinformation. Do this while we're waiting for our match to start. This is kind of what I want to build moving forward. Like, I don't really want the chemistry's insight after watching how the deck played out. And well, one of these, and we played. Um, I've been paired. Let me just let me just get the deck list. Get the deck card in here before I forget. What is it? Discovery, dispersal. Where is it? One, two, three, four. This deck was nice yesterday. I liked it a lot. But with less expensive mana base and only two disinformation campers rather than four. Yeah, you could do that for sure. Like this, this deck was just like we just tried to like empty my bro empty my opponents our our opponents hands, like remove all the creatures and then playing against control decks. We tried to like thought eraser disinformation campaign into like Nikki into this, so that our opponent's hand was just empty. And if our opponent's hand was empty, then the nickel bolus plus was just like so good. And then we just sideboarded like a million removal spells. More removal spells and counter spells. I like this deck a lot when I was playing with my little brother. You too. All right. Um, I will keep my hand for War of the Spark. Yeah. So many people play Burn. Yeah. So like. We played a million removal spells also. Like, we didn't play any counter spells, which was probably what you have to do in order to make a deck like that work. I want to stream that deck soon. Okay, I'm going to draw the land. We probably don't need the land, actually. So I'm going to draw the Spell Pierce and then draw the Stoneforge Mystic next turn and probably just jam the Mystic. The problem with the deck was like we played against Tamio and Tamio was like an absolute beating. I think I'm gonna wait a turn on my Stoneforge Mystic because then I can draw a land and make a land drop. It appears we're playing a fair matchup here. This also lets me um, counter a True Name Nemesis. The Liliana was also kind of medium. And it might need more ways to gain life against the aggro decks. Like, we have two moment of cratings. Like, these hostage takers were also kind of medium. And Tamiyo made it so that we couldn't discard card, where our opponent couldn't discard or sacrifice permanents, which just kind of beat the tar out of our Angrath Rampages, our Carnival Carnages. But yeah, if I can get the cards for that, I would try streaming that today. But hopefully Card Hoarder lets us grab the cards tomorrow. Alright, so we're just going to Counterspell. Our opponent might have Force of Will, and if that's the case, we are going to... Okay. Well, now I just want to play Stoneforge Mystic. Because I can leave up Spell Pierce. Which lets me handle another... Um, like, Force of Will plus Spell Pierce lets me handle another threat. I'm just going to go get... Probably Jit, because we have True Name Nemesis. And this thing's likely going to die. I'm not going to protect it. Yeah, it's the blue-green one that's really good in the Nexus of Fate decks. Yep.
Now, we can't answer this, but I think it's okay. We're not going to pop a Force of Will on this. We have, we have like four plows in our deck. You know, we want to handle what comes next. We want to handle the true name. All right, well, now it's our turn to jam true name Nemesis. And I can force pitch Jace if I have to. Okay, so they have Jet X. Um, I think it's probably like force pitch spell pierce. Because like our other cards are really solid. And we know this is going to resolve unless they have a spell pierce here. Like I would not like to force my, like pitch my Jace, but I will if I have to. And then if we draw a land, we're just going to jam Jet and go to town. We're going to assemble Voltron. Snapcaster Mage. That's going to target Brainstorm, which is okay. Yeah, we really want to land. Because if we draw a land, then we can just clear out. And we can just start winning the True Name Nemesis fight. If we don't draw a land, I think I'm just going to jam another True Name. And probably force to protect it. Our hands lined up really well this game. So, all right, well, let's see if this resolves first. All right, now I'm just going to attack. If my opponent rips, like, if they're going to put in JIT right now. If my opponent has True Name Nemesis plus counter spell that doesn't even do it it has to be true name plus spell pierce and they would have had to rip one of those two cards we can control this jet also which is nice why don't we just hook up what's the poor excuse yeah the modern modern just isn't fun i mean like the the viewer, the PT got like hardly any views. You know, I think it's still at like 20,000, right? Oh, it's my stream dying. Might be having stream issues. Stream was dying there for a hot second, okay. Alright, not gonna do anything here. It's going right now. Alright, so let's hit a land drop. Which we did. So let's put we want more land. So let's put this back and then we're gonna put this back. I'm just gonna leave them both back because this makes it so if I leave both of them, oh shoot, I should have played my jet. Yeah, but even the constructed aspect didn't get very many viewers. Like, the whole tournament was just like a failure. Like they, they didn't get like, they didn't break 20K, I don't think. I hope our stream's not tweaking out here. I definitely should have played my jet. I just like messed up there. All right, well now I'm gonna play Jace. And fight over it. Uh, 
Oh, that's so tilting. It's probably super loose to fight over that. All right, I should have probably just played Jet and equipped it. Like I'm, I'm trying to like focus on the stream here and mess it up. I don't think the public deck list is that bad to tell you the truth. Playing kind of fast and loose here, but the new mulligan rule is great. The new mulligan rule is great for magic. It might not be great for like eternal magic, but overall it's very good. Going to force true name. Not gonna force that. I I don't think it makes the format worse necessarily. Like it makes the it makes the magic experience better. Alright, that's gonna be a batter skull. Alright, I think I think we're just all in on like not getting our like making it so our opponent doesn't stick a true name. Yeah, I think it's a problem with modern. Like the rule is great. I should have fetched. Forgot to fetch. It's alright, actually, I can play around Spell Pierce. Which is good. So I'm just gonna attack and sit, not do anything. Basically, just keep Jit counters off my opponents. They are testing slash having changed so much. Yeah, well, I mean, that's just modern. Like, modern's not a great format to watch, in my opinion. Like, modern being the viewer's format is just not true anymore. They're just dead on the crackback, right? Like, as long as I just don't lose my mind and block this. I'd force, like, Council's Judgment. Okay. So if they have a Force of Will, I could be in trouble. So now we got it. Good morning, Vane Gretzky. I guess they could swords their own thing, but now we can snap counterspell the swords. Um, plus two, plus two, so that's eight. That's 10. So in the Stone Blade Mirror, I want Supreme Verdict, Gideon Palace Jailer. I don't like Spell Pierce. I don't like all of my forces. Disenchants Dece, but I don't know if I want all of them. And Vendillion Click's probably okay, but I don't. Again, I don't know if I want all of them. Um, I also just don't know what to sideboard out. Like, I know I don't want these, and I think I want these here, definitely. And I kind of want these, and I think I definitely want this disenchant. I probably can cut some plows. I probably want two disenchants, honestly, over instead of a. Cl but Vendillion clicks so nice if we're playing Drago. Probably could cut one Stoneforge Mystic. I want to bring in both my click and my disenchant just for science. So I'm going to cut another force. We don't have a lot of counter magic, which might not be good, but we have a lot of hard removal. I'm going to try this. I don't I don't know if this is correct. I could also cut a land. Probably should cut a land. All right, this hand's not bad. I mean, we can answer a Stoneforge Mystic on two. And we have lands to get set up. I don't know, maybe this is a mulligan. All right, we're just gonna hold up here.
don't cut my forces. Do you think I can get away without forces if I have like plenty of ways to answer Trunia Nemesis and plenty of ways to you know, brainstorm every turn? I hope my stream's not tweaking out here. Like, the stream's been really, like everything's been lagging out on my end here. I, I, I should have cut my wastelands. That's what I should have done. Oh wow, opponent doesn't have another land. Holy shnikes. All right, again, I'm not gonna cast anything because I don't wanna cast something and then let my opponent um, like use a, use a spell pierce or something like that. I'm just gonna have them discard. All right, well now I'm gonna Vendillion click my opponent at the end of their turn, just try to land a Palace Jailer and win the game. So I'm gonna get a Tundra. Target my opponent. I kind of want to take this true name nemesis because if my opponent, like if we find a way to jam the Monarch through, then um, we don't want them to have this true name to be able to take it back. Man, I don't know what is happening with my stream. All right, now I'm just gonna jam Stoneforge Mystic because I can, um, I can spell snare the counter spell and make them potentially use a force. They don't have this, and I think I'm just gonna get Jit. Play this. I don't really know what I'm looking for with my ponder, so I'm not gonna do anything. Again, not gonna lose value on a crappy. Uh, okay, that's great bait because that they're gonna force that for sure. So I'm just gonna jam this Gideon and not do anything else. I should have attacked. That was stupid. Because th this is definitely forcible. Okay, so force pitch flusterstorm. Which is okay. I should have attacked my Stoneforge Mystic. I'm, I'm making all kinds of mistakes today. I'm worried about my stream. Like the stream looks like it's been kind of messed up this morning. They just scooped it up. Okay, that sucks. So let's open up our treasure chest and then jump in another league here. The stream's been good? Okay. It's just on my end, it's all whacked out. Oh, we had a Thrun and a last Life from the Loam? Life from the Loam. All right, well, that's good to hear at least. Oh, that, I put ER price, okay. E price life from the loan. Oh, okay, nice. What's Thrun? Foil, not foil. All right, actually, I'm going to do another league. 
but let me go let me make sure I get into the legacy challenge all right we're gonna keep it on the same YouTube video I enjoy playing this deck yeah so um, I think that there's a chance that the hostage takers might be kind of um, no bueno and we just want more answers to planeswalkers in the 75 because this deck struggles against planeswalkers a lot so maybe like one of these should go to the side or maybe we should only play one Liliana I don't know all right I would like to play first I would like to mulligan. And I would like to keep. And I will probably ditch the Snapcaster Mage. Dude, I love I love standard sweet. I'm gonna ditch. Our hand sucks against combo, and this is really only good against combo, so I'm just gonna ditch this. How's it going, Archmage? Been a hot minute since I've seen you, sir. I hope you are doing well. All right, we want this Brainstorm. We want the Delta. We don't know if we want the other one. Final start tomorrow. Well, good luck, sir. Good luck. So I've been practicing self-control. Nice. Been playing on Arena or anything there, Archmage? All right. So neither of us shuffle. So, you know, that's fair. I've not seen any Delver here recently. Hadn't lost Arena in a month. Good for you. So we can brainstorm in to our Spell Snare if we need to. I should have fetched it on the, at the end of my opponent's turn. Because now if we get stifled, I'm just going to get a Tundra. Like I, I have a feeling we're not playing against anyone to be that scared of. I'm just going to pass, brainstorm at the end of my opponent's turn probably. Look to probably get rid of the spells, the swords, the plowshares. What have you been playing? Kind of wanted to brainstorm right there because if they wanted to counter it, they had to brainstorm lock themselves. Um. Oh, I also want to start putting up a charity for set up a charity for my stream here. Two of a counterbalance. That's a problem. Mono Red Phoenix. Well, we're in trouble. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of the land. That's going to resolve. I'm going to fetch a Plains because of Back to the Basics. Or Back to Basics, excuse me. I want to set up a... Uh, a uh, I want to set up a charity run for this in which I'll start just playing people's decks if they donate to this charity on my stream let me just find it here right here these two are Canadian wrestlers that play magic where I learn from and Canada doesn't support the Olympics Uh, Canada doesn't support the Olympics or uh, Olympic wrestling so they've had having to pay for like all their travel on their own so 
Let's go fetch a planes. All right, I am going to play island and I'm just gonna jam this room in. And hope they don't have they don't have a three on top. Oh, they shuffled, okay. All right, well, we got our deuter in play. Which is important. Monastery Mentor. We know they have Spell Pierce, so we can't do anything here. I can brainstorm on my turn. Yeah, it's a counterbalance. We're, we're in some trouble here. If my opponent brainstorms, then I can play Stoneforge Mystic. Oh, wow, they have a Jace. Okay, so they have a Jace. Shit. All right, I'm going to put this back. I want the Snapcaster Mage. I guess I'm just going to shuffle away both lands. And then I'm just going to play Stoneforge Mystic. I'm going to get a Jet. Jet might be able to handle this Monastery Mentor a little bit here. And there's a chance that if my opponent just jams Jace, they might brainstorm a two back on top so we can jam Palace Jailer and kill this Mentor. Because getting the Monarch is a way to get ahead in this matchup. All right, so our opponent doesn't have Spell Pierce up, so YOLO. Okay, so they have a plow on top, which doesn't matter. And that just works. Holy shit. Well, unless our opponent wishes they would have played that. So they're drawing plow. Yeah, I'm just going to go for the highest upside play. I might not end up attacking. Should have gotten a blue source there. Just really hope they don't have a way to get a four on top. And I'm just going to take this. Chose not to use it. And I don't think I'm going to attack with anything. I'm just going to keep this Monarch because we know they're drawing Plow. I want to make them use like a million resources to try to get the Monarch back. Because the Monarchs are way out of this. Yeah, Monarch's stupid. So they get to Brainstorm, but like we can put in Jet. I don't know what we get to do, actually. Brainstorm. Okay, that doesn't do anything. We, what we're going to do is we're going to kill Jace. And we're going to... Okay, we just win. All right, nice. Okay, so against Miracles... We want a lot of cards. So we want, uh, basically we want all of these and Supreme Verdict, we want like one to be able to handle Mentor. Cards that I'm not interested in. We can get rid of our Wastelands. I'm gonna cut all my plows. Jit's not good. We can cut a couple Stoneforge Mystics. 
And I think one force. And I'm going to bring in a verdict. Just so that I have at least one answer to um, Monastery Mentor. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. Yeah, TNM being a supplementary product. Gotta love it. I'm actually gonna add a plug for that Facebook thing. So hang on. Wait, Archmage, can you add plugs? My favorite mod, we're already putting them to work. Think plugs are better. Okay, so I'm going to all right exclamation point add plug. I have to see how to do it though. I want to do it so that I remember. Um, we're just gonna cantrip here. All these cards are great. All these cards are great. We're gonna put Jace on the bottom. Actually, I'm going to put J second. So if we have to fetch to disenchant, then we can do that. I have to figure that out. Because I do want to add a plug on my stream for that those two. And I want to add a donation bar going on. Okay, so we're basically like 100% drawing this land. So maybe I should have put the land second or just not counterbalance, but I'm just gonna spell snare counterbalance. Yeah, they're, they're two great guys from um, upstate New York. It just add plug your message here. Okay, so add plug. Um, if you have the extra cash, please donate to the to the Barrero Brothers, B A R E R O, to the B A R R E I R O Brothers, their magic players on the Canadian national wrestling team who are trying to live their dream. You can find out more information here. If you donate, I will play a deck of your choice on stream. Oh, wow. All right, we need to work on that. I have to hyper. I have to try to hyperlink here. Oh shoot! Exclamation point. Down. Oh god. D L P L U G. All right, I have to figure it out. I'm gonna jam this click down my opponent's throat. At the end of the at the end of their turn. My opponent fetched a tundra, so I'm going to fetch a tundra. I think the onus is on them to have back to basics. But I guess it doesn't matter. My mana's gonna be fine anyways. So my opponent can click me in response here, and then we don't really have a lot going on. Counterspell. All right, so now I'm just gonna jam Jace. It's gonna be like, 
they're going to have to use uh, two spells. Like, we're going to get a Force of Will out of our opponent. We have Counterbalance or ca Council Judgment to deal with what they do. So, I'm just going to jam and play Jace. Force pitch blue card. All right. Uh, cards we want to hide. I'm going to put the Council's Judgment underneath the Disenchant. We can brainstorm into the Council's Judgment or ponder into it if we have to. That's the card I want to protect the most. The Disenchant's like the second most, the second most unique card, I guess. Okay, so that's our problem. So I need to play my land first. I actually might just bounce this. Yeah, I'm just gonna bounce this. I'll time walk my opponent. I guess this is kind of loose because if they just go brainstorm, then I have to, all of a sudden I have to deal with the token. Yeah, this was stupid. I played some new standard yesterday with my little brother. We played this sweet Grixis deck. All right, so let's ponder. All right, we're gonna force a will your thing on the way down. Probably pitch a brainstorm. looking for a viable combo deck all right they just scooped it up okay i don't know what they kept but whatever yeah so this is we played some grixis yesterday and my brother couldn't get all the cards because he needed more wilds but i thought this deck was pretty sweet yesterday it probably needs a little more removal especially if we're gonna play like the eight creatures like it's only got one two three four five six cry hits little creatures so early game against aggro so seven eight 9, 10, and then it's got these. Like, maybe we have to cut a Liliana Death Horde General, move it to the sideboard. But I thought this deck was pretty sweet yesterday. Like, I was a, bit, I was a pretty big fan of this. Like, I think, I think actually these Hostage Takers were kind of medium. Probably move this over here. Play, like... Maybe play, like, the 5-drop that amasses to gain some life. Not sure. But, like, that deck was impressive yesterday. All right, we'll keep. I'm going to play Island. I guess I shouldn't F6. Since there's a world where my opponent could turn one me. I hope we're not playing in Storm. Alright, we are playing in Storm. Tilt. They took my forest, which is interesting. So I'm not going to show them this, what I drew. It's interesting they took force of will. You think you just take counter spell, then get another card out of me? But, you know, to each their own. I 
So let them take counter spell if they want. If they want to take Jace, that's fine. And just giving them the green light here. Just say you got it. All right, opponent's digging for it. This probably means all they need is like a couple people. Like they, they have the mana or they just need the payoff. Mizium tank. What is what is that card? All right, we're just we're just gonna jam Jace next turn and brainstorm and hopefully that gets us there. I think we're dead here. All right. Oh, that's the vehicle. Okay. This matchup seems awful. That's kind of what this deck, I guess. My opponent can just wait, too. They don't even have to do anything. But it appears that they are going to kill us. If they don't kill me here, it's going to be very surprising. I'm going to go put some... How's it going, Teddy? I'm going to go put some socks on. And then I'll put my slippers on. My feet are cold. I'll be right back. I'm just going to F6. My opponent kills me. Sure. Blue white. What is my my opponent? My opponent mess up. I think my opponent messed up, right? And my opponent totally just fucked up. If they've only got three mana floating. Right, I'm not crazy here. If they've only got three mana, yeah, opponent punted. Okay. I wonder what you go get. You probably go get like ad nauseum. I mean, the the thing is, is our opponent still might just kill us. All right, well, they're not going to kill us anymore. Put the batter skull on top so that I can draw it and play it. Or I can draw it, brain fetch, brainstorm, and then I can play that as my threat if I want to. Now I might fetch away the batter skull. Yeah, now I'm gonna fetch away the batter skull. Because my opponent left me with a true name. Nice. Get these back. Should have put the judgment back. Waste that. You. I have to fetch before I brainstorm. Though I might just be good to go up. I don't know. What do we think about going up, chat? I guess I should have 
not fetch if that's what I want to do. I'm just going to brainstorm. All right, nice. Put both of these back. We're not like, not unbeatable. I don't hate keeping the batter skull there even. We have a true name. The life gain is hard for Ant to beat. Oh yeah, the life gain. I thought, I forgot about that. We have to keep storming. Okay, so we're going to draw. And then I'm going to hold my fetch land until after I brainstorm. Brainstorming, yeah. I'm gonna get rid of one judgment. Just wanna find some counter spells here. I'm gonna keep one brainstorm in my hand. Oh, uh, did I play land? I think I did. Alright, well I'm gonna hide the land. Which I can counsel judgment my opponent's land. Everyone in the chat, you should be awesome. And donate to these two. I'll post the link. Because if you guys donate here, I will play your decks on stream. These two are friends of mine that I learned to play Magic from. Or that I played Magic in the beginning. They're part of the Canadian National Wrestling Team. These two are part of the Canadian National Wrestling Team. So, you know, just send me a message and say, like, if you donate, say, like, okay, I donated for this. And I will put that into that category and we'll keep raising money for them. Maybe you want one verdict. I don't really want to plow. I don't want jet. These true names are kind of slow. Honestly, I think I've been in the market for just like a 2 2 beater. What if I converted mana cause? Like if I could just like flash in containment priest at the end of the turn, I'm kind of in for that. To my auto shop for the second time this weekend because the first time they somehow managed to break my turn instantly. Nice. Oh yeah, judgment's bad. You're right, Teddy. We're bringing another verdict. Is disenchant any good, or is it like a random true name fine? I guess I want another equipment because they're such a heavy discard deck. And the jet can also gain me life. And then maybe like the one... No, I don't want this plow. I probably also can cut Caracas. Is this enchant good? Did they bring in that weird Carpet of Flowers deck card? I don't know. Playing two ground seal. Oh, thank you very much for the cheer. There. Anime. Amagain. Amagain. Um. I'm going to play a jailer. Like, there's a chance that we just get to the point where neither of us have anything and I just jailer, become the monarch, and, like, I don't know. I'm going to keep because we're playing against a deck with discard in it. From inside things. Okay, so I'll take it out. It's better than a random plow or judgment because it attacks. I think I'm going to play my island and pass. The priest is just flashing in a beater. That's literally the only thing that it's doing. Like, the priest is just, like, Snapcaster Mage. 
that doesn't have anything else. I could waste this black source. I'm going to waste the black source next turn because I want to be able to like play priest. I could have spell pierced that, but I, I really want to just play this containment priest. Then I'll be more aggressive. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's I'm not proud of it. All right, let this go. They already played their land. I'm gonna waste the shit out of this black source next turn. Get it one force. All right. I might ponder instead of wastelanding. Row row. Okay. Because if they have if they have a black spell, they can just like play it. You know what I mean? They can just play land and play around my spell pierce. So wasting them actually doesn't do a lot. Yeah, I'm very smart. All right, that's nice. One, two, one, two. So there'll be two spells. So now I can wasteland this and then hide behind my spell peers because they need two black sources in order to kill me this turn. They need like black source to discard and then black source to go off and then they can't take both of these. Maybe I still should have just played an island. I don't know. Yep, just let him take my Fluster Storm, probably. Oh, they just accidentally cracked. That sucks. That sucks. All right. Our opponent's having some struggles. But, like I was telling everybody, if you guys donate to this charity here these two then i will play your decks on stream if you give me cheers to it then just message me saying the cheers go to these guys let me know because he cracked his he had no cards in hand i don't want to see a delver All right, I'm just gonna ponder. Actually, I could just end a turn brainstorm and hold it spell pierce. Can you? You can, okay. All right, don't force me, bro. How's it going, Delray? All right, my opponent forced. All right, that's good. For the love of Christ, don't have a one on top. Scalding time, sick.
I want most of these. I don't want the fetch land. That's the only, I, don't, I don't want the wasteland. That's the only card I don't want. I'm doing good. It's a little free win. Yep. Can confirm. <laughs> Sounds like we got some Letter Kenny fans. When's the main event today? 11 o'clock. So I have to force this. All my cards are great, so I'm actually just going to pitch this brainstorm. I'm going to jam this true name down my opponent's throat. We get an island. Or a plains, excuse me. Well, we want land. We need land drops, Teddy. And force is, force is great. you got to be able to deal with what your opponent's doing. Okay, so they have Scalding Tarn. They revealed planes, right? So I know they have a planes in their hand. God, if we reveal land drop here. All right, that's not bad. So I'm just going to ponder to make sure I hit lands. It'll also inform the top of my deck, I guess. Okay, so now I'm just going to jam. Make them crack a fetch land. Okay, so they want to preordain. This makes my brainstorm better as well. I'm just going to get Batter Skull. The chit doesn't really do anything. So they draw. They have pre -day. I think they have planes in their hand also. Fairly certain. Yeah. Plab. All right, land. All right, let's see if we can find a land drop. Oh, wow, they have a Jace. We just any order this for the shuffle. All right, so we... So we can do two things next turn. Okay. I'm kind of down to judgment this right now. And then try to brainstorm fight with my opponent because my Jace can handle my true name can handle this Jace, and we know this judgment's going to resolve, which is important. So yeah, I'm actually just going to judgment this, get rid of this counterbalance. And then my opponent's going to play Jace, and if they tick up with their Jace, we still just attack their Jace, and then we jam our own Jace. And they're going up, probably. So, like, we're going to be the first Jace to brainstorm, which is nice. Oh, wow, they're brainstorming? Holy shit. So, this definitely means, like, their last card was Terminus. Let's start by attacking Jace. And now... Because they either put Terminus on top, and if they counter our Jace, they shuffle away Terminus. Yeah. Got him. Put him in the put him in the squeeze, boys. Boys and girls. Alright, so we want these. This. I don't know if we want all the disenchants or not. Cards we're not excited for. Wasteland. Umazawa's Jurgit. Plow. Like two Stoneforge Mystics. And probably like one Force. There's an argument to only bring in one Disenchant, but I really want to be able to kill Counterbalance. And they might have Back to Basics. Well, they probably cut that, so maybe two Disenchants is loose. I just have Resolve rather than your opponent conceding. Was there a brainstorm or a plus check for the terminus? I would have brainstormed, but was probably right to plus. You're right. I wouldn't have thought about it in the moment if we're going to be like 100% honest. Is the second disenchant better than the fourth force? 
I'm gonna go with the fourth force is better. We need to prioritize hitting land drops. All right, this hand's not great at hitting land drops, but we're gonna hope that Brainstorm Brainstorm does it for us. Our opponent's mulligan to six on the play, which is nice. I'm gonna stream some of the challenge today. I don't really wanna leave my wife hanging. Like when she gets home, just like making sure she can't sit in the living room. Yeah, for sure. All right, we hit a land. We're just gonna pass, all of our cards are great. Might Flusterstorm this. Definitely got a Spell Snare like an AK, I think. No, I'm not. The first AK they can have. Spell Snare the second AK. So we're not worrying about Back to Basics at all anymore. Okay, so our opponent's missing a land drop. Now we're going to try to hit a land drop. Neither of those are lands. I'm just going to discard. And I'm going to discard Disenchant because we have Snapcaster Mage. I could also just Flusterstorm this, which I'm going to. Make so we don't have to discard. Our opponent's missing land drops as well. Our opponent should not have cast a spell here, I don't think. Our opponent should just let me discard. I think we got to have a fight over this. And I'm going to ditch the counter spell because it's the most mana intensive card. Like I have disenchant, but the problem is if it resolves and they have a two drop on top, then I'm in just so much trouble. I'm in so much trouble. And I need to be casting like ones in order to make land drops. Like the most important thing that I, can, that I have to do right now is hit land drops. And even though we could potentially kill that council judgment, it's going to impede us from hitting land drops, which is just like so important. So I'm just going to wait and I'm going to brainstorm at the end of my opponent's turn. God, my next sore. Because I don't want to let, give them the opportunity to use the mana on, on my turn. That's fine because that's a slow... Because that's a slow trip, so they're gonna still gonna miss their land drop this turn. So I'm just gonna let that go. Like if, if there's a there's an argument, but I I want to hit land drops, which is what's most important. They chose to shuffle. Okay, so I'm just gonna play a Snapcaster Mage. And brainstorm, to try to hit a land drop. For next turn. Because if we hit a land drop, I'm just going to jam Palace Jailer. Because Palace Jailer represents, they're going to have to force it, which is just two cards. Okay, we hit a land drop. Uh, I'm going to shuffle away this Disenchant. And they can't blast um, Palace Jailer. So this Palace Jailer is just going to be the net. Yeah, game over. Our opponent can't 
take the monarch back here, so I'm going to get into attack. But I'm going to be pretty conservative with how I attack the next couple turns. That force will is nice. Alright, they hit a land drop. Start with a ponder. And again, there's a land drop, which is exactly what we want. Make my land drop. I'm gonna attack with Snapcaster Mage because it's harder for him to remove Palace Jailer. I don't wanna lose, but I wanna make him try to kill Palace Jailer. Snapcaster Mage is easy for him to kill because he just red blasts it. Just make him fight over this body. I have to force a click, which is kind of annoying. This is what I'm talking about. They're just trying to get the Monarch back with their uh, Snapcaster Mage. And we draw another card. The Monarch is stupid. Same thing we did last time. I'm gonna play Jace. I could play Stoneforge Mystic to have another body in play, but you know, Jace is just like another thing they have to answer. Let's me hit a land drop to play Stoneforge Mystic. I'm probably going to force pitching the verter, pitching probably the true name, honestly. I could just not. Yeah, I'm just not going to. Just going to keep the monarch. All right, my opponent's miracles are terminus. You got it. Now, if my opponent jams a... Okay, they didn't. All right, let's hit a land drop. We didn't do that. I don't really need ponder. So the ponder would have been nice to do after the yeah that was stupid I should have kept my ponder. Okay. All this is okay because like as long as like we're we're at parity the difference is I have seven cards and my opponent has four, and I have more lands. Again that's okay. We'll just. Verdict. We'll hit a land drop and then we'll verdict the board. All right, we hit an island. We'll draw another force. Eventually, our opponent's just going to run out of stuff. This is because the monarch is stupid. I should like re I should like title this stream the monarch is stupid. It's 
two cards for my opponent, but I'm just going to counter things that threaten the Monarch, and then eventually I'm just going to draw my way into winning the game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I want to hit a land drop. So I am going to ponder. All right, we hit a land drop. Now I can play land. I kind of just want to keep all my blue cards. So I can go like force pitch, force pitch, force for another card, then play Gideon, and Gideon will just win me the game. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. Oh, now I have to discard. And I'm playing extra cautious here, but, like, I don't think there's really, like, anything my opponent can do to me. As long as I keep this Monarch. Like, sweet, dude. You're up to, like, you're getting card advantage, but, like, I don't know. I'm just going to ditch this Batter Skull. Yeah, I would like to find a a time to like jam the Gideon. I kind of just want to play Gideon right now. I'm gonna play. Th this is how I'm gonna win. Oh shoot! I've decided it. Okay. Oh shoot, I should have played a true name because the monarch's gonna make me discard. Son of a bitch. Now I can pit keep a true name after I force everything. That's why I count, discarded the Council Judgment. That might not have been super correct, but... Yeah, I should have done something to make it so I don't have to discard. Like, I should have played a true name to make it so I didn't have to discard there. Like, I, I made a mistake right there. Then we're going to draw up to seven cards... Yeah, I made a mistake. Sure. Just attack. Opponent pops this now. Or maybe they don't. I hope the stream's okay.
Oh, looks like we were maybe back here. Okay, OBS is reconnecting. So I played my land. Yeah, I'm having like a lot of technical difficulties this morning. Give me that turn 14 spell pierce. I hope the stream's back. I think a lot of technical difficulties this morning. This is probably part of the reason why I won't stream the challenge. Click is nice. Click, click lets me like force lethal or something. All right, I'm gonna click my opponent, see what they have. I think they're just dead because I have double counter spell. That's what they drew into, so let me just force this, and then we kill them. Okay. Nice. Nice. 3060 feels... Feels good. The 3060 is these. Oh yeah, that's my plug that's not working. Eleven. Plug deleted, okay. And plug. But you all should donate to that, even if it's just a couple dollars. Make it so that two Magic players can live their dream of being a part of the Olympics. Tom and Phil are great. I would like to play first, yes. I would like to mulligan. And I would like to keep probably ditching a spell snare. I guess not probably, definitely ditching a spell snare. Hopefully we can end up with a good old little 5-0 or something like that before the challenge. Get my, uh, oh, playing against elves. Oh, Noble Hierarch deck. Okay. All right. In a tough spot, Chief. Probably going to see some force pitch spell snare action here. Maybe I'll let that go, unfortunately. It's annoying, but we can beat it, I think. All right, nice. So let's just go. I'm going to play true name because if we. No, I'm actually just going to go planes, play Stoneforge Mystic. Because if I go get Tundra and play True Name and they waste me, I can't play Stoneforge Mystic. And I think my best way to win this game is going to be to put a Jet on this True Name. This also lets me keep up Spell Snare. For like their own Stoneforge Mystic or like a Gaddic Teague maybe. I don't know. I don't know what kind of weird shit they could have. And I'm just not even going to... Alright, we're going to Spell Snare that. That card's annoying. Right, 
You gonna waste my waste? How's this going to go, sir? Gonna force pitch snap cast mage anything. God, that's annoying. That, that gives them a lot of lands, but doesn't really do anything besides that. I really don't want a Knight of the Reliquary to show up. So. They get to, like, Wasteland lock me, but we can deal with that. That card's, like, this card's annoying, but I think we can beat it. We don't want to have to play against neither Reliquary. Or that. Shorten the plug. Oh, thank you. I really don't want to have to counter this. Like, if I find a land, I can beat this. If I find a land, I can beat that. All right, true name, where are you? There we go. Okay, so this is Voltron, baby. Now we have Force plus Blue card. This library plus Ramanov Excavator is nice. Yeah, let me add that in there. Does this just go to their Facebook page? Yeah, okay. Great, thank you very much, um, Incamagine, Imagine. Sorry if I don't know how to say that all right we have to force this because that is another reliquary plow stone working this thing sure Okay, there we go. All right, so now I'm just gonna take out two creatures to limit their mana. That's a good follow up. I'm gonna take out these two. The hierarch is just more mana. Like I'm cutting off, I'm cutting off three mana from my opponent to do this. Alternatively, this just kills them next turn. But I would like to make sure that I get the most value out of my... So they're going to have a million mana. Like this this taps for... They've got three. They've got two, three, four, five, six. So I'm just going to wait. There's no difference between six mana and nine mana really. So I'm just going to wait when I can just pump my true name and kill them next turn. And if they like... Council, if they like find Pride Mage, then I can still just get a three for one off the Pride Mage. Okay. All right, so we want these. Uh, I want Disenchant because they're going to have libraries plus swords of their own. 
And then Gideon's probably good. It's just a bear factory. Not in love with Spell Pierce. Can I like out, can I just like out muscle them, like cut my forces and just have them just try to muscle them out of the game? They did take eight off library. I wonder if I can just out muscle them or if I need my forces. Spell snare hits, probably like Kasali Primate, Scrib Ranger. Sylvan Library, Stoneforge Mystic. So spell snare is probably good enough utility all right i don't know if this is correct or not yeah but it's just that i don't know i don't know if this is correct or not but i'm going to try to out muscle them okay i forgot about i forgot about choke i totally forgot about choke Like choke, choke. I always forget about choke when I sideboard against this deck. I'm going to plow a turn one dude. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I'm going to plow this because I don't want to go fetch a tundra unless I have to. And even though I have a verdict, it's a while. So, we would like to draw a blue fetch land. So we're gonna have to get a blue fetch land. We just open a wasteland. We basically just want many lands. All right, no wasteland is nice. We have to kill that. Because that's just going to like find our opponent a million wastelands. I could have played True Name. I'm going to hide the True Name. I'm going to hide both True Names. No, I don't want to hide both true names because I want both of them. Maybe I just hide Snapcaster Mage. Maybe I just hide Snapcaster Mage Supreme Verdict. The only card I don't want is really Batter Skull, so I kind of want my opponent to just take Batter Skull, but they're not going to. So maybe I can just go like this. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then, like, take your pick. Though my opponent's gonna kind of know what's up if I if I just don't play my true name. Okay, so they have a Scrib Ranger coming. I'm gonna just try. Oh, they didn't do it. Okay, I thought they had a Scrib Ranger. They didn't attack. I want to see if I can get one more card out of this verdict. Which might be greedy. Okay. Now this is juicy enough. So this is either a knight or, or an excavator. It's a scavenger move, okay. So just shuffle in my upkeep. I'm gonna get an island. I'm gonna get 
get another tundra so that I can't get wasted off of anything. Give me the three fur as you free my soul. Then please choke me. I should have I should have fetched uh planes for that re for the reason of choke. That was a pun. Yeah, I deserve to be choked. Okay, not choked. These. Wow. All right, so we think our opponent has Scrib Ranger, then this might not work out for us. All right. I play Thoughtsies. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Playing for the the five o ten o baby. It's more than the five out. Five out leads to 03 drops the challenge every time. Don't you say such things, dude. Yeah, with the old verdict. Yeah, so I really like playing Delver, but I wanted to play this because I don't think Delver's very good right now. And if I can pilot both Stoneblade and Delver, then like each one of those is good when the other one isn't. You know, like if it's a bunch of combo decks, Stoneblade's not great, I'll play Delver. If it's a bunch of creature decks, Delver's not great, I'll play Stoneblade. That's kind of, that's kind of where I want to be in Legacy. I'm playing this. I'm not going to stream the challenge though because I've been having computer issues and I'm going to play arena with my little brother. We're going to take one potentially and we still had a follow up. Flip out the shitty owl. Uh, this hand is really good if we're playing against a creature deck. I'm going to play a Plains on turn one. I don't have anything that's double blue. And, like, if I if they if they play, like, a Mother of Ruins, and then I go Plains, and if I rip Stoneforge Mystic, then I'm in a really good spot. Whip out the shitty L. That's, that was so funny. When Chad told me that, I almost died. Oh, we're playing against Death Shadow. Okay. This is a good matchup. We just don't toss it. I want to get hemmed next turn. Getting hemmed would suck. Like we're having more issues with our internet. I can't wait to get so there's a chance that my wife and I might be moving pretty soon, depending how a round of job interviews go. And I'm very excited that if we do move, we're going to get like a nice big house. And we're going to have like a den, like an office to where my mo my wife can work and where I can um, um, and where I can. Uh, also, my Internet is frozen over here.
here, my internet tab. All right. So this is kind of pick our poison here. Do we want to get dazed or do we want him to thought seize it? And I think dazing our opponent when we have a bunch of three mana plays isn't that bad actually. Wow. Batter skull. Yield through this turn. All right, don't hit me, bro. Yeah, but like in our new place, we'll have like a den and a big old. Cause we're, I stream from a laptop. All right, no him. Thought sees is annoying, but we're still up a card. Oh, they're gonna dismember. Okay, that's all right. Just making land drops and passing. Yeah, my internet being so weird today is why I don't want to stream the challenge because I, I just got to have issues. Plus, I'm not as good with this deck as I want to be, so it's really difficult for me to stream with this deck. God, play another one. Yeah, it's difficult for me to stream this deck because I'm newer with it. So, EOT, plow. Please gain five life. Okay, so they force, which is okay. I'm going to untap. I could have fetched and plow, but we play into spell pierce there. Would you record it for YouTube? I might, but like I want to play Arena with my little brother. So like I might do like a no audio record. Because my little brother and I, we got a sweet little Grixis deck going on his uh, on his account. It's, it's been a lot of fun to play. My brother really likes playing it. All right, I'm not going to jam my Snapcaster Mage unless I, unless I hit a... Um, unless I hit a land. I'm just going to be patient. My opponent's only got two cards. This Delver's likely flipping. A brainstorm would be like a great draw for us because we could shuffle away these two cards for sure. No, well, I'm asking you shall receive. Because like these are going away. All right, and we hit a land drop. So let's get rid of this. And I'm also just going to get rid of this force of will. Make my land drop. Pass the turn. What do you got? Reanimate. Okay. Gonna reanimate my Stoneforge Mystic. What are we gonna do here, bud? So I need to fetch. So we can. I, I can fetch for a basic. Which I kind. I think I'm just gonna fetch for an island, even though. It was very skilled. Even though I'm gonna fetch an island, even though it cuts this off. I just don't want to get wastelanded. Reanimate Stoneforge Mystic. This is where we're at. I wonder if they go fetch their own Batter Skull. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm just going to untap. <laughs> I said no Batter Skull. My opponent goes, I put it in my sideboard. I'm going to fetch right now at the end of their turn. Because if they go to stifle me, I can spell pierce. And 
And now we Plow Delver, which also kills Death Shadow. I'm just gonna spell Pierce the Brainstorm. There's no reason to plow you end a turn, I don't think. I will trade. Actually, do I wanna trade? It turns on there reanimate. I don't think I wanna trade actually. I think I'm just gonna start attacking my opponent. I've got so much gas. This is Gurmag. All right, that's whatever. I'm just gonna snap plow the Gurmag. JK. That's the nail. Okay. So I kind of just want to counsel judgment this angler because this snapcaster is also a removal spell, but it could be something else. And I wouldn't mind, um, I wouldn't mind like attacking with my, actually I don't want to attack with my snapcaster because I don't want my opponent to reanimate it. I couldn't get planes. It was a polluted Delta. So it would have had to be a Tundra. That kind of sucks, but. I didn't want to get wastelanded. Can I beat that? Do I have to? I don't even think I have to, right? I really just don't even want to force that. Like. This true name checks it. I, I don't know what my opponent could have. I'm not going to block here because I don't want them. I guess actually I will. No, I don't want to get Diabolic Edicted. That was a nice draw. Okay. Okay, so against Death Shadow. Well, I mean, like, I have that. I've got that um, Death Shadow covered. Like, it, it's not getting past my true name. Maybe cards that, like, are a problem are, like, if they have Diabolic Edict randomly in their deck or they have Liliana the Last Hope. So, like, and I, I have two more plows in my deck. I have Palace Jailer, another Judgment. Like, the Death Shadow's not going to matter. I don't think. Alright. I'm not really interested in Jace. Not really interested in Jace. Umazawa's Jitte doesn't sound that great. Though, I might want two... Nah, Jitte just sucks. Stoneforge Mystic also kind of sucks. Counterspell is slow on the draw. Actually, I kind of want to cut my forces against the Hindatorak deck. So maybe Jace is just good. Maybe I just shouldn't have like any Force of Wills. And I should just have Jace's. And just say like, all right, whatever. Resolve your bombs. My deck's full of better bombs. Like, is that loose? Because, like, I just destroy all of their removal that I don't want to get out-carded. Like, all their creatures suck. The ways that I lose is, I think, to, like, Flip Jace, Liliana. Spell Snare only hits him. Yeah, you're correct there. So, 
So then maybe I should have like one mystic and one click. I really don't know how to sideboard with a lot with this deck. I'm pretty new to playing it. I don't know if this is correct. And maybe I just need Force of Will in order to stop like their bomb starts, which I can definitely buy. I'm going to keep like any seven hand that I can. This hand's kind of sketch though. This hand's super sketchy. I'm going to mulligan. I can't cast my spells and like my one blue source is a tundra. I will keep this hand. I kind of want to ditch my wasteland. I'm going to find lands for the true name. Yeah, this is for the 5 10 out here. We did not. So maybe that's a punt too. I didn't even think about it. But I think Bitter Blossom out of their deck is pretty bad, right? When I have four true names in my deck. I can buy that Snare is better now that we think about Bitter Blossom. But I think Bitter Blossom is just bad against these decks because you can't trade life points for Battlefield Presence against True Name Nemesis. And like, yes, it turns on your shadows, but I think that you just want to like play the game and have that come try to come naturally. Oh my God, UI won. Eli won with humans. They also have him. Yeah, so I should have left my snare in. I should have left in my snares. Because now we're about to get hemmed to the moon. That's a nice draw. How you doing, man? I liked your article on Monastery Mentor. Yeah, I just saw the human won the, won the MC. So if my opponent hymns me, then I think I'm going to brainstorm and hide my Stoneforge Mystic. I also don't really want to jam my Stoneforge Mystic. I'm kind of damned if I do, damned if I don't. Because with my opponent having a discard, it's like, would I rather trade for days or trade for Thoughtseize? Although this plow is the prize. So that's probably what I want to protect. Four cards. I think I'm just going to be patient. I think I, I think I want Snare if Bitter Blossom is in the equation. I don't know. Like I said, this is the first time I've streamed this deck. Surgical Extraction. Really gonna try to work this Swords to Plowshare to get two cards. This 
Especially if they're going to try and surgical my swords after I use them. So I do think it's pretty important to just be patient. Okay, nice. I'm gonna keep my fetch land around, but I think it's I think it's Stoneforge time. I'm getting so many viewers right as the challenge starts. I'm not going to stream the challenge. Okay, force pitch days is all right. So our opponent's got Surgical X. Yeah, like they just have to. They just can't beat this card in a million years. If they draw discard spell, have days, they can take my plow, which would be a little annoying, which would make it more difficult to kill this Delver. Yeah, I'm not going to stream the challenge today, so I'm actually going to... After this match, I'm going to send you all over to somebody else because my internet's been choppy and I, I struggle a little bit to play this deck at a super high level when I'm commentating because I'm just new with playing it. So, like, and I also want to watch my brother play Arena. We've been working on these sweet standard decks. I really want him to commit a Death Shadow to the board, but I guess Death Shadow doesn't I guess Death Shadow lives through this. Like, I want this Surgical to be good. This, I want this to be good, considering it's going to be the only time that we get to use it. Well, now, if we get enough mana, we'll be able to counter the Surgical. But this true name just races. I guess we get whacked by... Uh, What's the card we get whacked by? Diabolic Edict. Yeah, if we actually hit a land drop, we can... If my opponent plays two creatures, we can play around... Um, am I going to Rithman? No, I'm not. No, my, magic, my magic's pretty tight this year. Like I said, Phil's been in a little bit of bad health, so money's been going there. And I'm applying for jobs. So, we've, like, we've, been, we've been busy. Not gonna play that. Though it might be worth it. Actually, I'm just gonna jam it, because it's fun. My opponent's got surgical. They haven't brainstormed, so they have surgical and two randos. We're gonna get another tundra. We already have a waste of a land. But this just puts more pressure on our opponent. Like they're dead on board. Okay. I guess that was like apt to happen. Again, they have surgical X. And they just scoop it up. Look at that. The 5 0 10 0. Woo! I've never done that before. I have never done the 5 0 10 out. Let me put the deck up here. Let me go over and get a screenshot of this so I can get my clout. What did I play against? I probably should shut my recorder, my video recording off. Now I'm going to talk about the deck. What did I play against? I played against. I don't even remember. We've been streaming for a while. I'll have to look back at it. But I know we played against Death Shadow. We played against Maverick. We played against Miracles. The Mirror and something else. But yeah, I, I, I don't know if this deck list is exactly what you should be doing. I played this deck list because it's fun. Like, I really like Palace Jailer. Uh, GG's. Thank you, uh, M Madman392. Um... Storm, Maverick, Miracle, Shadow. Round one, you weren't there. So I'll have to pay attention to it. But my Storm opponent made mistakes, and that's why we won that one. But I don't know if this deck is correct or not. Like, I noticed that when I was playing, I played Daniel Golshit's straight list. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. 
and I wanted one more land, but I wanted to have my mana base do something for me. So I put I added the Caracas and two wastelands. Um, I cut the main deck Vendillion click for the lands, and I played a Jailer in the main deck. I played one Jailer in the side and a Gideon because I think the Gideon's really good in the in the blue matchups you struggle against. I basically I think all the white cards are really good in the blue matchups. Shadow, Greenway, Maverick, Stoneblade, Jeskai, Miracles. Two Miracles? So, I don't know. I think this deck's really good. I think it's fun. Uh, I enjoy playing it. Um, who's who's following? Who's playing Legacy right now for the challenge that we can send you all to? Let me turn my 